Here is a simple AND circuit in ladder and STL. A normally open contact used alone or in series is denoted A for AND followed by an address. A normally closed contact used alone or in series is denoted AN for AND NOT followed by an address. The assignment coil is denoted equals for a sign followed by an address. Next is a simple OR circuit. A normally open contact used in parallel with at least one more contact is denoted O for OR followed by an address. A normally closed contact used in parallel with at least one more contact is denoted ON for OR NOT followed by an address. Here is an assignment, set, and reset coil. The assignment coil changes with the logic. In other words, if the result of logic is true, the coil is true. And if the result of logic is false, the coil is false. It is denoted with equals. A set coil goes true and stays true until it is reset when the result of logic before it is true. Set is denoted with S, followed by an address. A reset coil goes false and stays false until it is set when the result of logic before it is true. Reset is denoted with R, followed by an address. In the exclusive OR circuit, the output is energized if one input is true or the other input is true, but not both inputs are true. To read this network in STL, it would sound like this. AND I3.5 AND NOT I3.6 or AND NOT I3.5 AND I3.6 equals Q10.5. In STL, the exclusive OR can also be written as X I3.5 X I3.6 equals Q10.5. The CPU knows to perform the exclusive OR function when it reads the X command. However, there is no equivalent ladder logic, so the code will not translate to LAD. A positive edge pulse coil is denoted FP in STL and must be followed by a unique memory address. An easy way to remember the mnemonic is think fire positive plus the address. A negative edge pulse coil is denoted FN in STL and must be followed by a unique memory address. An easy way to remember this mnemonic is think fire negative plus the address. When moving, which is actually copying data into a location, the data must first be loaded, which then goes into Accumulator 1. The data is then transferred to the desired location. In STL, this network would read load 50, transfer to memory word 120. The no op 0 means there is no operation on the enable out or ENO side of the block. The STL code will work fine without this command, but will not translate to LAD. In this video, you have seen some core basic STL commands. Watch the other STL videos for deeper travels into STL.